everyone. So you can hear my birds are happy, which means it's springtime. This is the first video on my channel, so I hope you like it. I'm heading out to my boyfriend's baseball game, and I thought I'd show you the makeup that I decided to do. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. So as you can see, I have these braids that I slept in, but I'm going to take those out later. Now I'm taking my Pond's Dry Skin Cream and my Oil Free Cream, which has an SPF of 15, and putting that on my face. And now I'm taking my Fit Me Foundation in the shade 110, which also has an SPF. This one has an SPF of 18. And I'm just applying this all over my face with a damp makeup sponge. Now I'm taking my Revlon Color Stay Concealer in the lightest shade Ivory and I'm applying this under my eyes and on any blemishes or red spots that I have, may have and to also highlight my face. And I'm using the same damp makeup sponge to blend it all in. And headed for home. It's a brown and handsome man. just recently ran out of powder so I picked this one up at the drugstore. It's the Wet n Wild Cover All Pressed Powder and I'm not sure what shade it's in but I think it's the lightest shade that it comes. But I have to say for a drugstore powder this one works pretty well. And now since I have this lovely pale face I'm taking my e.l.f. Healthy Glow Bronzer and the e.l.f. Professional Bronzing Brush and I'm just contouring the hollows of my cheeks. And at first it's going to look really harsh, but I'm going to take the same stippling brush that I used to put on my powder and blend it all out. So say hey Willie, tell the cow, and Joe Dimaggi. And now I'm taking my favorite blush, which I unfortunately lost the cap to, but it's the Maybelline Mineral Powder Blush in the color Berry. And I'm taking a blush brush and just applying this from my cheeks back to my hairline. And then to make it look natural, I'm taking the stippling brush and blending it all. And now moving on to eye makeup, I'm taking my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and putting this all over my lid for a creamy base to make sure my eyeshadow stays through the whole game. And now for shadows, I'm taking my big Sephora palette and I'm taking the two light brown shimmery shades on a flat shader brush and applying this all over my eyelid. <laughs> Now from the same palette, I'm taking this chocolate brown color with a reddish undertone on a tapered pencil brush, and I'm focusing this on my outer V and the crease, and then I'm blending it out with the brush. And now again, I'm taking those same shimmery shadows and putting them on my eyelid because they could be lost in the shading process. Now I'm taking a really big fluffy br blending brush with a light tan shade and I'm blending out any harsh lines. And now I'm taking my Maybelline Eye Studio gel liner in the shade Black is Black and the brush that it came with and I'm just putting a m small to medium sized line on my upper lash line. eyelash curler but if you want to you can but now I'm taking my mascara it's the colossal cat eyes from Maybelline in the waterproof formula and I'm taking this mascara and focusing it on the ends of my lashes to give it a natural curl <laughs> And next I'm taking Benefit's Their Real Mascara and focusing this on the roots of my lashes to give a little bit more curl and more volume. I don't care if I never get back, let me root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame, for it's one, two. And now moving on to lips, I'm taking these two creamy lipsticks from CoverGirl in the pinky shade Delight and the nude shade Cream. 
and I'm just blending these two together for a really natural lip look. And now since putting on two lipsticks added a lot of lipstick on your lips, I just blotted it off with the napkin and now I'm taking the steel lip glaze and putting this all over my lips. And now let's move on to hair. Now it's finally time to take out these braids, so basically all I'm doing is just taking them out with my fingers and then playing, it a playing with it a little bit to calm down the waves. And now that I have both braids out, I'm just playing with it a little bit. And now to style it, I'm taking two sections of hair from the front of my face on either side and I'm just going to clip that in the back of my head with a clear clip. And before I close out this video, I'd like to point out that I probably wouldn't actually wear just this makeup to a baseball game, but I did have to run a few errands before I went, so that's why I got all gussied up. But if you liked this video, then please go and give it a big thumbs up and leave some comments down in the comments section if you'd like to see more videos from me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I don't care if I never get back to me. Root, root, root for the home team.